Trudeau's dream of a post-national Canada is nothing short of a dystopian nightmare where global elites pull the strings, leaving Canadian citizens powerless. He openly admitted as much in 2015 to the New York Times, boasting that Canada could become the first post-national state, meaning a country with no identity, no shared values, and no borders, all in service to global governance. Now, with Agenda 2030, we're seeing the rotten fruits of that vision. This isn't about fighting poverty or saving the planet, it's about control. Control over what you say, how you live, and even what you think. Agenda 2030 is a disaster waiting to happen. It's the same globalist agenda that's burdened us with mass migration policies that are overwhelming our cities, carbon taxes that are punishing the working class, and the rise of 15-minute cities designed to dictate where you can and can't go. Add in hate speech laws to stifle dissent, and pandemic policies that crush small businesses, and it becomes pretty clear. In the name of progress, these policies are making life harder for everyday Canadians. So what's Trudeau's answer to the mess his authoritarian policies have caused? Naturally, he wants to double down, rallying world leaders to commit to Agenda 2030 at the UN over the weekend, as if more global control will fix the problem. Like every tyrant in history, when the Save the World plan starts to crumble, their response is to tighten the screws even further. This is the blueprint of authoritarianism, failing ideas backed by escalating power. We've seen it in every dystopian regime, and now it's unfolding right before our eyes. Led by our very own Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau.